everyone! Um, so welcome back to my Psych Watch Along series. It's been a hot minute, um, but I'm dyeing my hair purple and I need to leave it in for 45 minutes to an hour, which is, I mean, an episode of Psych is about 43 minutes, so I may as well do that with my time. Um, and yeah, today we are watching Season 2, Episode 3, Psy vs. Psy. Uh, by the way, the angle is a little bit different today because... What is that? That's a bit of paper towel. The angle is a little bit different today because I'm leaving my phone plugged in. Because she needs to charge. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one. Play. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen, okay, fifteen Mississippi, all right. Sean, so Sean, I, I love the detail that Sean's teachers have no idea that he is a literal genius. Why did you teach him how to forge things, Henry? Why would- I hate him. Why would you take your son to court for forging a permission slip for a field trip? Henry is so intense, and it's completely unnecessary. This man is just an idiot, though. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, I would say you're off. This is bullcrap, though, what Henry says. Or it just means you paused your writing for a second, you idiot. That is jumping to conclusions, Henry, and that is insufficient evidence that also wouldn't hold up in court for testimony, because that's stupid. Everybody hesitates sometimes when they write. I hate you, Henry Spencer. <gasps> Yay, green polo! Oh, I miss the green polo. Later seasons, he doesn't ever have the green polo. I love you, Sean. <laughs> Hello. Nope. <sighs> Sean is so handsome. What were you punching into your watch there? That is not a smart watch. Is that what you're wearing? Continue mocking, please. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty funny when people get need there. Hmm. I love them. <laughs> Go save our spot in the concert hall that is the chief's office. Oh, this part is so hard to watch. She- Sean should have known that she was a criminal the moment she decided to do this, because he's a criminal and he does the same thing. I didn't put anything on my face to prevent the dye from getting on it, so. I was thinking, should I dye my eyebrows as well this time? And then I was like, I don't- I don't wanna- that will get all over my entire face. I'll look like the little girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> we sniffed one another in the hallway. <laughs> Got 
got him. He flies down. <laughs> And he's just trying to be friendly and helpful. I'm sure she's never heard this one before. I'm sure that nobody has ever compared her to that before. <laughs> Sean's is better, it's more original. He's so excited. Oh, lassie. He's adorable. I love Lassie. Really, you won't tell Lassie, but you'll tell Sean and Gus? That's just petty. <laughs> I love Sean going, that. no, you're so wrong, Lassie. Hello, Mildred. Nobody noticed her! When did she get in the hallway? She teleports. Aww. He's the universe's favorite boy. Well, no. We two sniffed each other in the hallway, like feral dogs. Show me Sean again. Mm. His face is making me feel better. Weirdo. Stop looking at her like that. Be nice to Lassie, Ewing! <laughs> the squint face. <laughs> Look at Gus! I love Gus. Green polo is gone. Oh, I like Jules. I like Jules's blouse though. I love you, Chief. She loves her little team. He's just a minimum wage employee, man. Reasonable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So if I groan in pain a few times throughout this, it's because I'm shifting how I'm sitting. Probably clean of cocaine because it's fake money. So it wouldn't have been used for that. <laughs> you idiot. Stop posing. <laughs> huh? He must feel sometimes like he's being haunted by his own son. I think sometimes Henry must feel haunted by his own son.
Is anything good enough for you? Twelve. <laughs> that was funny though. Gus, I think you did. <laughs> I can't lawyer you out of this one, Sean. This happened yesterday. I think that's not a bad metaphor, epidermal layer of the universe. Writer approved, Sean. I love his little lip scar. This man is the most toasted man who is not actually toasted I've ever seen. Did he sniff? Her? Did you just sniff her? Okay, I'm gonna mute it real quick because this part is impossible to watch. Did Ewing sniff Jules? And she was okay with it? That's- hang on. That happens in another episode. We find out Lassie knows the scent of her shampoo. And then that- and because that weird kid also sniffed her. Why are people sniffing Jules? Stop sniffing her! That was so suspicious. You're all idiots. Uh, too specific. Too specific. Don't be smug at him, Jules. Don't be smug at him. This looks bad on you also. This reflects poorly on you as well. I like wet bar. Bit of a repetition. Are you gonna crack wise? Better than breaking wind. Why? Why? Why do they have to? Okay. <laughs> you know what a drill is. Angry Sean, grumpy boy, grumpy boy. <laughs> I love it. I love them. <laughs> I love the way that he uses Sean as punctuation when he talks. Gus, I love you. Hi, buddy. I don't have any dye on my hands, I can pet you. Yeah? We used to have a Murano. I miss that car. So broken. No. <laughs> He's so upset about it. Hi! 
Come here. You guys can watch him now. His face is more interesting than mine. No one's gonna believe you're a customer for sports cars, Sean, I'm sorry. Well, no, maybe. I hate you, Lindsay. Nobody called him? Don't be mad at him. He has said to them multiple- it's not true, but they don't know that, that the spirits are whimsical and share with him on an inconsistent basis and he can't just pull it out. Obviously, it would just be the spirits favoring Lindsay, as far as they're aware. Oh, that's right. He called Jules. It's creepy. That's creepy and weird. He is harassing her. She's wearing the same shirt as yesterday. No. Is this the same day? They're all wearing the same clothes. Jules, no! Jules, no! Your boss is right there! Look at him. Look at that guy. For real, Gus. <laughs> Sir. Sir, don't step on the- Don't- No, no! You're gonna- You're gonna ruin my time thing! Back on the floor. That's- He's so cute! Whoops! Sir. He's determined to interrupt my filming. It's always when I start filming or streaming that he's like, now I want attention. That's also just knowing how playboys work. That's not psychic. <laughs> is he listening to the money? That is very funny. Don't be mad at him! Where the hell does this level of memory and attention to detail go in later episodes. I'm sorry, I don't want to harp on it. It's just frustrating that he can memorize the entire serial number of that bill with that one look in this episode, and then later on we have the uh, dark blue stan, no license plates, or license plates. That frustrates me! this that I got from SiteCon for this. It's a Sean-based necklace. It's a, it's a best friend's heart, a pineapple, and a little Sean. Quit it! Even Lassie looks ashamed! Even, even Lassie looks ashamed! Oh, you can't even see it. Okay, well, I'll take it off then. I'm- I'm glad that they all look like I'm sorry.
even though they weren't so great. Hmm. My friend gave you this at SiteCon also. Suck it! <laughs> the body language that this actor gives the character of Lars Ewing is hilarious. Good choice. Like, where does that go later? He just said that entire serial number from memory from one glance. It's all about presentation, Gus. When you think about it, Megamind and Sean really have similar <laughs> Huh. That's one of the dumber things I've said. And yet so true. <laughs> so like, what amount did he- so he printed like a non-round amount or something? Or the car was a non-round? Like what- I love the little flower apron. That's adorable. I wanted an easy bake oven so bad a few years ago. <laughs> Who could that be at this hour? A murderer? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> This is our boys clubhouse, no girls allowed. Ha, you don't have your own office, that means. Why is she so disgusted and horrified by the small pineapple, by the way? Delicious flavor. <laughs> I love his eyes, I love Sean's eyes. <laughs> I was wrong, you're better than I thought. You might catch me. As far as Lindsay knows, by the end of this, he is real. As far as she knows by the end of this. Because we know she isn't. So, is she just matching his energy, or do they just happen to have very similar ways that they fake things? Is he matching hers? Like... Yeah. What? Why is Sean doing this? What benefit is this serving him right now? Delay Hill is so handsome. I hope you get food poisoning. Boy, Peacock subtitles are terrible. Where did he get the cocktail napkin from Air Force One? Like, why? I wrestled in high school. What, with your conscience? That's hilarious. He did the, I'll kill you, not even worried about it, vine hand move. Back off of her, man. Jules should have punched him. Yeah, 
yeah, see what I mean? As far as Lindsay knows, he's a real psychic. My genius boy. Aw, oh, he tossed us the candy. That was adorable. I love them. Yes! I love them! <laughs> Hiding his little smile. Gross, Ewing. So, like, they definitely have to replace that dryer now, right? In that hotel? There was no noise complaints about the fact he had rocks in the dryer? He left the room a mess, too. Ugh. receptors. What are you, a transformer? Sound wave of knowledge. Now I want to watch Transformers. <laughs> Sound wave superior. Autobots inferior. Is that funny psychic stuff? Why does it go away? He specifically walked over to Jules to say that and look cool. Closer! I see you! Oh! Hi! Doing a dance. Mr. Soft Paws. Cold. Was that the first wait for it? Oh my god. It better not be. She doesn't deserve that. He thinks he's playing her, but she's playing him. Can you believe it, Creamsicle? Our boy is getting played. Please stay behind the laptop. Very forward. Oh, he's bad at closing, though. Abandoning your boy. This is why Gus gets weird later. No! Oh, you're so stupid, sweetie. If, if there's 24 hours in a day, just count backwards from 24 or forwards from 12 until you get that number, and then that correlates. Hey, buddy. You keep doing it after you find the girl of your dreams, too. 
Do not whisk her off to Carmel. No, you did not do any of that. Little man, you're gonna have to stay in here until I'm done with this episode. There he goes again. They do that anyway, Lindsay. Everyone's so mean to my boy. No, they, they give him a lot of grace, but also sometimes they're really mean to him. I don't know what's up with this song that they use here, but I don't like it. Is this setting a vibe? Is this setting a mood? Not to me. I don't understand either of their decisions to... I guess I understand Lindsay's. It's to throw Sean off, but I don't understand why Sean goes through with this. You could just lie. He could have just lied, because he knows that she's not psychic. Ugh. The sound. Ugh, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. No. No. Stop it. Yeah, give Lassie a little bit of grace, Sean. Well, actually, no, Lassie's been giving you no grace, so you should give him a hard time. No, all of you join up against Lindsay and Ewing. They suck. I hate Lindsay's top. That was petty. That should be your tip-off, Sean. So should this! He's not David Tennant's doctor. He's not gonna lick the body. He's never done that. Sean was right to look offended because he's never gotten close to licking the body. Even when Gus told him to taste the blood from the old guy. Gross. Weird. Yeah, get her out of there, Chief. Chief, point your gun at him. Gross. Ewing, gross. Ewing is a where's my hug at guy. Ugh. This is just nasty of her. Very confident in yourself, Sean. Hello? Well, why are you ripping up that chair? <laughs> why are you attacking that cake like that, Henry? Oh, don't look at the cake. It's a continuity nightmare. Oh, there's no continuity to the size of it. The orange shirt is back. He's being so gross and weird with it. I hate you, Henry. You should quit. That's what you do when things get tough. Somebody's better than you. You quit. Is this reverse psychology or are you just an asshole? Eighth grade. Well, you were wrong about that, Henry, and I hate you, and I want to... <laughs> the only thing that carries you through the show is the fact that the actor who plays you is charismatic and cool. But you, Henry Spencer, the character, I want to kill. Corbin is cool, though. Henry. 
Henry, I want to kill you so bad. Oh no. Oh, I'm just gonna have this weird little patch of brown hair. Right on my neck. Oh well. Maybe I can get my dad to buzz it off. Cake is frustrating. I like it. it's it's kind of a terrible shirt, but I like it on him. Maybe I just like him. One less button, guess. Realization time. I love you, Sean. Go, boys. Oh, I like Mildred's sweater. Mildred's sweater is like the ace and the arrow flags combined, but not the arrow ace flag, because that's different. Why would you assume that this is what he was looking for, Mildred? I like the tone that Mildred reads that in. We'll give you a ride. Very nice. Wait, aren't you driving, Gus? It's your car. Oh, he was having Mildred call shotgun, so Mildred rides up front and Sean rides in the back. I see, I understand. I get it. MySpace. Don't smile about that. He has been harassing you, Jules. <laughs> it is. I have to get you arrested. <laughs> I love you, you dramatic bastard. Get her! He's so handsome. He's so good looking. I'm wearing a giant moose costume. She's a bad criminal. You did not do a good job covering your tracks. Why would you pass Lassie over? That, that orange, the orange shirt is insane. The more I look at it, the crazier it gets. Is there a blood vessel popped in Ewing's eye? Oh. I could hurt. <laughs> Mildred is locked in. Girl boss? I'm kidding. Mm 
<laughs> Wait a minute, what's happening? <laughs> Spontaneous Sega Kropika is one of my favorite little things. It's so dramatic for no reason. I love him. And it could be embarrassing. This is so stupid. She didn't even- Girl, you didn't even put like a dress, a blazer, nothing. You didn't steal some hotel towels. You couldn't put something over the money. It's just loose. Bad criminal. Lassie looks very upset about that revelation. I'm sickened. <laughs> I love Gus whenever Sean goes on those rants. He's just like, oh my god. You don't know how to fly a plane. Get her, Mildred! Mildred did more for that takedown than Ewing did. Obviously not. Shut up, weirdo. I don't like Ewing. The purple got all the way down here. I gave myself purple sideburns. You did not have to come out with your shirt off. You put your holster back on after you took your shirt off, you weirdo. I hate you. Jules, stop it. He's a harasser! And he's mean. He's mean to Lassie. He's voguing. He's doing the robot. You put the holster- you- <laughs> Weird ending to the episode, to be quite frank. It always catches me off guard when that's the ending to the episode. Um, looks like up next is Zero to Murder in 60 Seconds? Is that the horse one? No. Oh, that's the Chop Shop one. Nice. Um, but thank you for watching that episode of Psych along with me. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the sheer amount of creamsicle that was within this episode as well. Hopefully my dye job will come out good. I guess you'll know soon enough. Um, because I might, I don't know, I might film another video after I rinse the dye out and everything. We'll see. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!